We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Baseball on the Show, and it's coming up next. Set for baseball Meeting here this evening. The shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First of four here to start the weekend as the game's first pitch is taken and it's strike one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Maddie, these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium, focused on one thing. Not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed a dub. And that one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big number. The center field of the dollar, Brandon Nimmo. So here's Brandon Nimmo. First offering on its way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call a pitch above the zone, above the belt. I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep, but I'm telling you, if you're calling that high strike, it opens up a lot of room for the pitcher. I agree with you, Dero. That's a tough pitch to get on top of and to put it in play. So if you're a pitcher right now, try to elevate in that top part of that strike zone. 1-1. One, one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Withenshaw is there. Two gone. Batting third. The left fielder. Number six. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Pitch on the way. Ball. 1 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. That evens it up one and one. Now yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Now the 2 1. 3 1. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even got himself into a good hitter's count now. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Down is full. 3 2. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. Reined in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Mets go down 1 2 3. It's the Mets 0. Phillies coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Marcus Stroman, right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Marcus Stroman, not a real big guy. First-round draft pick out of Duke University. Good power sinker, 92 to 94 miles an hour. His slider is good. Will throw an occasional curveball and changeup. His best trait ultimate competitor. Now to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And the pitch. That's the ball. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. 
All right, Maddie. they show up for game one of this road trip. They have to find a way to play a little bit better baseball. Coming off a recent homestand where they were only able to squeak out three wins, but at the end of the day, the way this team's been playing, three wins is a significant positive. So let's see how game one of this road trip treats them. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Yeah. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. That one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that two-two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. and two picks high in the air down the right field line Conforto is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning Gene Segura standing in and he's looking to turn things around ice cold at the plate in recent action Delivery to him on the way. Go. The 1 0. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball. Very high, two and one. Head to head history with Marcus Stroman. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder giving chase, but he won't get there. It falls in. Batting third, the cover fielder. Mark Stepping up now, Mark Withenshaw. And it's first for him following the one out single. Segura, base runner at first with one out. Throw over to the bag, and he's back standing. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Now this is popped up. Room, however, behind the plate for Castro. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Striding in, Bryce Harper, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Pitch on its way. Ball. One -oh. Stroman. 
Cleveland comes set. Here it is on 1 and 0. Left side, but well fouled. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, that in particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully oh. wet when it becomes moist like it Move is right on. now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Now the 2-1. Ball, that's too high. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it ball comes. Four. Ball. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now. Two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Two men on, two out, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. Here's the first pitch to him. Inside! That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. You can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch for pitching hitters inside. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone. One and two. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. One two pitch. Ball. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Two men are on with two men out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. We've played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Alonzo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And oh. lays off there. 1 0. A ball and a strike to the Mets' first baseman. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys ball. just fly out to the warning track. Two balls and a strike to count. The 2 1. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Digging in, Jason Castro. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball. No score here as we play any number two. One and one to Jason one Castro. One misses for the second ball. 
you know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. One out, nobody on. No. Full count now. Three and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Now the payoff pitch home. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. On to first, and there are two down. That is fifth. The right fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Oh, it's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Wind up and the 0-1. He's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him so successful is that he's aggressive in the zone, getting ahead, forcing action. And Fordo behind the ball in two strikes. 2012, one two to count. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. Go to the bottom of the second, no score. Up next will be Nick Williams. Drove in one of his team's two runs in yesterday's game. He's ready, here's the first offering. There's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Softly down the line toward first. But uh, this will get foul. Two and one. Now here's the pitch. He's falling behind now. Three and one. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And he That's takes down. ball four. four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the yeah. Standing in, Omar Narvaez. Runner first to start the inning, and damn, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slipped. It's hard to keep your hands dry. If you don't have a good feel in the grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. He's set, and the pitch. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Marwin Gonzalez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First delivery to him on the way. Strike one to start the at bat. Bottom of the second here with no score. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Gonzalez is a highly regarded defender, especially as corner infielders go. Some guys at first or third are there because they can hit. But he takes a lot of pride in his defense. And as a result, it's definitely not uncommon for him to make it. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So the runners at the corners now with one away. Nice piece of hit right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect the crazy a little bit. Freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down. In now, Mike Miner. As he will take 
take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in the strike. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Runners are at the corners with one man out. One ball, ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. One ball, two strike. A one, two. Tap the knees and called strike three. Well, their chances of pushing across the run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit before you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Blake now, Cesar Hernandez. Ball. As he'll take a look at ball one. It was a fly out for him to start the home first. And no, he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Has to be a challenge no, pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. The 2-1. Up the middle and off the pitcher's leg. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first. And that'll put an end to the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. Well, going out of the top of the third. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Into the box now, Wilmer Flores. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Now the pitch. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball that's 1-0. Two and a half. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Fouled away. Ball, no. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff block. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first Out. in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. J.D. Davis, the next to bat, is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now here it comes. 0-1 oh, the count. Here's the pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1-1. One Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Lays oh. off the fastball low and it goes to two balls in the strike. Ball. ball three. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far.
There's ball, ball four. four. Take your bank. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. The pitcher, Marcus Stroman, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. He's set. Here it comes. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. In today's game, if they're going to give you an out, you take it. You have to find a way to execute a pitch in the zone, allow him to get the bunt down, and take the out at first. The 1 0 home is going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! The batter, number one, shortstop Ahmed Rosario. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and up next will be the shortstop Ahmed Rosario. Go, First pitch coming. Here it is. Push. Third inning, no score to this point. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Ready on 0-2. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mets lead one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Here's the first pitch to him. Skied into straightaway right. Conforto is there. One pitch, one out. Now that center fielder, Mark Withenshaw. Riding into the box, Mark Withenshaw. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, he dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Oh, this at bat is quickly oh, moving two. from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. That oh, misses wow. one and two. Stole cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The one-two. He's Part up three. with the letters, but he gets the call. Strike three. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their balls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. Harper, 28 years old. This is his 10th season at the major league level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. Harper behind with an 0-2 count now. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Now here's a fly ball, well hit. 
Racing back to right fielder. And that one is gone! Solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Second home run early in the year. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter. Every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the beater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Just pitch two and runs a bit inside for ball one. And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. That's 2-0 now. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Strowman's ready. Here he comes on 2-0. And, and it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. But the Phillies strike first on this solo home run. We played three full. It's now one nothing Philadelphia. New inning set to get underway, and ready to bat next for Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. First delivery to him on the way. And that's by him. It's 4-1. Oh, oh. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now Digging in, Jeff McNeil. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Now a swing and a miss. No Took something off That's that right. one, and it's strike one. That was a nasty pitch right there. Great arm action by the pitcher. That looked like a heater out of his hands and dropped off the tape. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he fouls this one off. The 0-2 once more. It's taken for ball one. One, two. Fouled away. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. And that's the pitch they wanted him to punch out on. A slider down around the knees. That's a good job of holding off on that swing. Full count. Three and two. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now back, the first baseman. So a runner at first with one man gone, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball one. One ball. Runner at no first strike. here, one man out. No, and that's maybe up. a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Two balls and a strike. And 
ball. fastball, but he's losing it a three bit ball. here to one three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. That's a hit. The first of the game for the Mets. That's the cat and mouse of the game right there. Now find yourself count leverage. You think you're getting a heater. He throws an off-speed pitch and you're still able to execute. That fires me up there. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. So look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Ball. on the changeup and there were two gone. The great equalizer. The changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer of that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead of the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Conforto is below the Mendoza line. Batting average under 200, unfortunately. This is the classic case of the modern day ball player right there. You can have the batting average if your OPS is north of 800. On the season, Conforto is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. Here's the 0-2. Ball. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Here's the one two. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go three two and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right here. Two and two. Here it is. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Payoff pitch on its way. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. for the last half of the inning and digging in at the plate the Texas native Nick Williams first pitch coming here it is out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats takes a pitch high and away for ball one One one. Hit on the ground to third. Davis grabs it cleanly. Throw on the first in time. One away. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
Into the box now, Omar Narvaez. First offering on its way. Ball, go! The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. One run on three hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. So one got in the inning here with a runner at first. And in the back next, the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez. From the belt, kicks and deals. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. From the stretch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. The 0-2 delivery. Rounded up the first baseline. Scooped up to second for one. The tag, and he is out. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On to the top of inning number five we go. Philadelphia is on top, one to nothing. So digging in now, Wilmer Flores. He's over for one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Pitch coming, here it is. Fastball, well outside. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Three and oh now. Not the way you'd like to start this fifth inning, falling behind three and zero on the count. It's about time he starts throwing some strikes. Now here it comes. Yanked on the ground down the line and a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. Well, that's only the second hit he's given up tonight. And the first one didn't do any damage. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. To the plate now, J.D. Davis. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Nobody out, runner on first. It's Taylor made to short. Six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Now back, the pitcher, Marcus Gilmer. So the base is empty now after the double play. And set to stand in is the veteran pitcher, Marcus Stroman. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball inside. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's a and a strike to even the count. One and one. 11, one, one. The bouncer up the middle. Segura to his left. He's there. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. They're down one nothing. Strikes in this spot. Have 
pass the football no, in, the in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Oh. Ah. Strike called in the upper part of the zone. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Nimmo comes on now and he has it one down. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 2 with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Yeah. The 0 1 pitch. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And foul. Two home. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. For yeah, Bill. man, that's the advantage of getting a head to count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone of attack. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. At the plate, Gene Segura. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Former top prospect Ahmed Rosario will start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. And he falls behind 0-2. Oh, Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. No. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back even now at two and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. 
Withenshaw patrolling center makes the play the one out. The well, run. we've mentioned the conditions Landon. aren't ideal yeah. with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. At the plate, Brandon Nimmo. He was a ground out victim last time up. Pitch on the way. Ball. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Skied into straightaway right. Harper has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batter, number six. So here's Jeff McNeil. It was a walk in his last trip. Here it comes. Ball. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. McNeil, a six foot one inch left handed hitter, but throws right handed. He was a 12th round selection back in the draft of 2013. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. of the sixth inning now and next will be a Lydia. speed threat in the form of outfielder Mark Withenshaw. Mark Withenshaw. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh. A shin high slider laid off for a ball. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. 2-0 oh. oh to the Philly center fielder. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2-0. This guy has some serious pop to play. I'm expecting a big hack here. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Oh. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. That won't find the zone either. So speed on base here to begin the inning. It's a four-pitch walk. That is not the way you want to start off this half inning. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner, and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Bryce Harper stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. First pitch on its way. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. It's outside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. So he used the slide step that time, but it didn't make a difference. Yeah, you can't blame the pitcher on that one. He did all he could do. That was just an impressive show of speed. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a line drive. But just fouls as he just misses extra bases. Short hit hard. Rosario brings it in. And that's out number one. Second, one away, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Ready 
with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's a strike to throw down. He's in time as he gets the tag down, and he's out trying to take third. Thought he might have a chance to get in there safely when he got a good jump from second, but that was a good throw and a good tag to cut him down. Wind up, and the 0 1. A little Ball. too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. One, one. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. One and two now. One, two, to count. Into the corner and slicing foul. Another one two delivery. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Down quickly go the Phillies, but they lead it one to nothing. Seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I would agree with that. that. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strikes zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back. Digging in once again, Jason Castro. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Weak grounder down the line at third. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh. And now there are two away. The right fielder of the third. Michael Conforto. Next up from New York, Michael Conforto. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Ready. Here's the first offering. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Down in order go the Mets. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Last half of the seventh here, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Nick Williams. First delivery to him on the way. And there's a base hit on the line. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guys swinging first pitch. One of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead of the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches at the strike zone. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. Stepping in now, Omar Narvaez oh, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Strikes here it is. And 
this is drifting foul back into the stands. Lifted the other way out to left center. On the run is Nimmo. He can't make the play as it finds the outfield grab. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. It's so important to the start to make sure the guys is that you don't. This is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in. You can't worry about creating a monster and do your job. Now here comes the Mets skipper on his way toward the mound. He's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. He'll leave after six, and at the very least, kept his club in it to a spot. Paul Seawall will come on in relief now as he'll make his tenth appearance of the season. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here comes the 1 0. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. One ball. Two the strikes. offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is guaranteed. Got him to go down now swinging there. Marwin Gonzalez was dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number four. Yeah. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. No, that's the ball. Too low. Lofsky pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Here's the 3 1. Runners breaking for the plate, and now a late squeeze attempt, but it's popped up. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. And in the days of three-run homers and nine-to-eight ball games, you don't see the suicide squeeze executed much anymore. But this right here is a textbook example of getting that bunt down and getting the RBI. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Cesar Hernandez, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No. It's inside. 2 0. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk would be the worst thing in this spot. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. 
Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two and two now. We're playing two. Two two. Swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. He'll get it into second. Second now, but he's safe as a run will score on the play as well. Hey, d -Roll, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the game. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. That's all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in position to be successful. Given them that three run push, it has to make them. So now to the plate, Gene Segura. He'll take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He's working on a one for three thus far. I'm set with the 0-1. No. Second. Hit on the ground toward the left. Davis has got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Phillies three, and the Mets nothing. Victor Arano with summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 64, Victor All set for the start of the inning. And up next, the utility man Wilmer Flora. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality AB and start the line moving again. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One. Waves and misses for strike number two. Well, obviously somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Lifted in the air to right field. Harper on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. So his day fully the over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Standing in now, J.D. Davis. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Ball. And there's ball two now. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Here's the two one. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The 
2 2. It's looked at, and the count moves full. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3 2 count. With the three run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. I think there's any justice in the game. Watch those now two bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's the same. Both there. Number three. Come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number three. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The average right at 280 coming in. Three homers, 13 RBIs. He pulls this one into right. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Now back. Now back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Ahmed Rosario. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. Mets strand one. They trail it here, three to nothing. Jace Sprite is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57, Jace Sprite. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And at the play to be the speedy outfielder, Mark Withenshaw. Mark Withenshaw. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is pulled into right. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Cut it close here. He comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A.B. in this one. But he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked in that batter's box right there, he's thinking this very well could be my last A.B. of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, I'm going to have to do it right now. Here's a fly ball well hit. Going back is the right fielder. Goodbye, home run. One ball and one strike. Still only one out in the inning. The ball and two strikes. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. And that strikeout, you never do the same pitch twice in a row, and you won the battle because of it. 
In now, Omar Narvayan. She'll take a breaking ball then off the plate for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And that's right there, and we're even at one. And he fouls this one off. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. But the fight and strike for a pair, both coming on this two-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Metropolitans. It's the Phillies five, and the Mets nothing. All set to start the ninth in this one, and standing in the outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. First pitch of the at-bat. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. One-0 pitch. Hard ball. in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And now a slider in on the hands and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Uh, two two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second. Locked him up completely with that one. Into the box, Jeff McNeil. He'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Two and one. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher to make a close pitch like that that just barely misses. Ooh, that's a tough one to get back. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Now the 2-2. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. Stepping in now, Pete Alonzo. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the 1 0. Ball. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Ball. And that one's no. wide of the mark. Ball three. Now with the base is empty I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Pitch on the way. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. And 
Miss has swung Rebound. on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. He's one pitch away from striking out the side. But even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And he'll make the final out to put an end to this one. And the Phillies have taken the opener here at home. And this ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. A 5-0 finish tonight. Philadelphia led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Mike Miner wins his third of the season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Victor Delano works two full innings in relief to record the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, 